What if I told you that you could build a fully functional AI language learning app with voice conversations, real-time feedback, progress tracking, and everything in less than 30 minutes without writing a single line of code? No, seriously. I'm going to do it right now on camera, let's go. So today, we're building something I've personally wanted for a while. I've been trying to learn Spanish, and honestly, apps like Duolingo are great for vocabulary, but they don't really let you have natural conversations. And hiring a tutor, that's expensive and hard to schedule. So I thought, what if I could just build my own AI-powered language tutor? One that I can talk to anytime, that gives me instant feedback, tracks my progress, and actually helps me get better at speaking. And here's the crazy part. I'm gonna build this entire thing using Blink.new, and you're going to watch the whole process. All right, so first, what is Blink.new? Think of it like having a senior developer sitting next to you who can build your entire app while you just describe what you want. It's an AI app builder, but it's not just generating code. It's actually setting up your database, your authentication, your hosting, your APIs, everything you need for a production-ready app. And the best part? It has native AI integrations built in. So, things like voice recognition, text generation, image creation, all of that is already there. You don't need to mess around with API keys or figure out how to connect to OPEN AI. It's all just ready. I've been testing it for a few weeks now and honestly, it's kind of wild how fast you can go from idea to actual working product. So let's put it to the test with something real. Okay, I'm on Blink.new right now. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and then create an account. Clean interface. There's a chat box here where I can just describe what I want to build. So I'm going to give it one prompt and I'm going to make it detailed so it knows exactly what I'm looking for. Here's what I'm typing. Build me a language learning app where users can have voice conversations with an AI tutor in various languages. Get real-time corrections on grammar and pronunciation, save their practice sessions to review later, and see their progress over time. With metrics like streak counts and improvement scores. After entering the prompt, if you already have any assets like UI design or any other document, you can upload them from here. Next, we have to select the LLM model. Currently, it is set to auto. However, you can choose a model manually. You will have access to all the popular LLM models, including the latest versions of Claude, Gemini, GPT, and others. You can select any one from here, or just select the auto mode to choose the right one by AI. In the end, you can set your project to public or private. All right, hitting enter. And it's thinking. You can see it's already starting to plan out the architecture. It's talking about setting up a database for user sessions, implementing voice recognition with Whisper, using GPT for conversation and feedback, creating authentication so users can log in and save their progress. This is actually insane. It's literally building the entire backend right now. Look at this. It's creating database tables for users, practice sessions, corrections, and progress metrics. It's setting up API endpoints for the voice chat, for saving sessions, for retrieving user data. And I didn't write a single line of code, I just told it what I wanted. All right, the initial build is done, let's actually test this thing. It's asking me to sign up or log in. Let me create a quick account. Email, password, done, and I'm in. Okay, so here's the main interface. I can select which language I want to practice. Let's go with Spanish since that's what I'm learning. Selected. Now there's a prompt here that says, start a conversation with your AI tutor. I'm going to click this microphone button and just talk to it. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo your name y quiero practicar español. Okay, it's processings and look at this. Hola, David. Estoy muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Me alegra que quieras practicar español. ¿Qué temas te gustaría discutir? The AI responded in Spanish, asking me about my day and what I'd like to talk about. Here, on the right side of the conversation, there's a feedback section that analyzes what I said. My sentence is correct. Let me try another sentence. Ayer yo fui a la tienda y compré manzanas. Processing when it's giving me feedback again. Qué bien, David. Las manzanas son muy saludables. ¿Qué tipo de manzanas compraste? These are the kinds of tips you'd get from a real tutor. Now you can end the session. This is actually working. 
Like really working, I'm having a conversation with an AI in Spanish, and it's giving me real-time corrections that are genuinely useful. Okay, so the core functionality is there, but let's make it better. I want to add a few more features to make this feel like a complete product. Going back to the Blink Chat, I'm going to ask it to add, add a dashboard where users can see their practice streak, total conversation time, most common mistakes, and a progress chart showing improvement over time. Hitting enter and it's already working on it. It's creating new database queries to calculate streaks, aggregating session data, building out a dashboard component with charts. And done, let me refresh the app. There's a new dashboard tab in the navigation. Clicking it, and wow, look at this. It's showing my streak, which is one day since I just started. Total practice time, three minutes. And there's a chart here that will show my improvement over time as I use it more. There's even a section showing my most common mistakes. This is exactly what I wanted. And it took like two minutes to add. Let me add one more thing. I want users to get flashcards generated from their mistakes so they can review later. Typing. Add a feature to quickly switch between languages without leaving the conversation and automatically generate flashcards from corrections that users can review in a separate section. Processing, building, and done. Refreshing the app again. And there's a new flashcards tab. Clicking it. And it's already generated flashcards from my mistakes. This is incredible. We've gone from zero to a fully functional language learning platform in like 15 minutes. All right, so now the app is built and it works, but right now it's just a preview. Let's actually deploy this thing and make it live on the internet. In Blink, there's a publish button right here. I'm going to click it, and it's asking me if I want to use a custom domain or just use a Blink subdomain for now. I'll use a subdomain to keep it simple. Here's the URL. Let me open it in a new browser window where I'm not logged in. And there it is. A real, live, production-ready app. Anyone with this link can sign up, start practicing languages, and track their progress. This is not a prototype. This is not a demo. This is a real app that could handle actual users right now. The database is set up, the authentication is secure, the AI integrations are working, and it's hosted on a global CDN. So it'll be fast no matter where your users are. And we built it in less than 20 minutes. So that's Blink.new. I genuinely think this is one of the most powerful tools I've used for turning ideas into real products. I'm going to keep using this for my own projects, and I'm honestly excited to see what you all build with it. If you create something cool, drop a link in the comments. I want to see it. If you want to try Blink yourself, the link is in the description. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more builds like this. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.